Hi, so Doug here from Old Man Cycling. So what I wanted to do is put together a quick video of a surgery that I just had. Um, over years of, of leading an active lifestyle, running, hiking, swimming, skiing, uh, bike riding, um, I've worn out my right knee to the point where I needed to have a, um, a full replacement. So I thought I'd put together a quick video of um, kind of my recovery, a little bit of the therapy, and then um, the time it take, took to get back, uh, back on the bike again. Um, I had the surgery back in February of 2023. And you know, within eight or nine weeks, I was, I was back on my bike riding. And then you know, now when I'm putting this video together, it's been, it's been six months. And six months later, I'm back in the ride groups. And yesterday's group ride was 50 miles at 20 miles an hour. So I can probably say that my knee is, is pretty well recovered. There's still some stiffness and I still do stretching exercises. I don't have um, full, um, full movement, um, full flexibility yet, but it's really close. And actually the, um, the level of pain and the amount of uh, flexibility and movement that I have now is better than it was when I had the, the arthritis and, and the bone on bone condition. So overall, um, after six months, my knee is better than it was. And, and I'm really excited to know that in the next few months and the next um, you know, three, four, six months from now, it'll be even better. So I'm very excited. Um, I hope this um, quick video um, kind of educates people and shows them uh, my process and, and hopefully it helps out with um, anything you have to do in the future. Thanks. So here's some pictures of the um, incision and the staples and you know the surgery itself. You see my knees quite swollen. Um, these these weren't too bad. Came off. Looks pretty good. This is after a couple of couple of weeks. Heals up nicely. Then that's of course the X-ray of the implant itself. Um, here's some um, exercises I did to help stretch out my uh, this particular one, the hamstring. Try to get the legs straight. Um, activate the muscles. This is a nice strength exercise. Eventually we'll do this with one foot at a time instead of um, both together. But it's a nice stretching exercise. Build up the um, muscles again in your calves. Reactivate the muscles. Get them, get them moving again after the trauma from the surgery. Here's another um, exercise to try to get some strength in, in, in the muscles going around the knee. Try to get some flexibility in the knee itself. Then here again, some range of motion. I'm trying to get um, 120 degrees minimum uh, bending uh, between your, you know, up above and below your knee. Once you get 120 degrees, you can um, walk downstairs pretty well and you can start to pedal a bike. Um, throughout the therapy process, you wanna massage your um, muscles. You wanna massage the incision site, you know, with some, get some oils. Some therapeutic oils work well on your on your leg and your knee. Um, you want to roll out the muscles probably before and after or whenever they feel tight. This helps loosen them up. Again, you want to reactivate that muscle um, during the surgery. They do have to cut muscle, and you want to get that um, healed. The um, the impact massage gun. This 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 was great. I you know I'm glad I bought this. I, I use this even to this day after a after a bike ride. You know, driving home in the car or whatever, sitting down after the after the ride, I'll massage my legs with this massage gun. Um, and again, here's another range of motion exercise to try to get, you know, the stretching, try to stretch the knee. It's difficult in the beginning because of the um, the swelling, but you wanna you wanna try to stretch it as much as you can. Um, I'm now six months past the surgery. Um, and I and I still do these uh, stretching exercises to get even more range of motion. So when you get back on your bike, and here I'm on my trainer, your first couple of pedal strokes, you kind of have to go back and forth. When you bring up to the top of the stroke, you can't quite get it over the top of the stroke. But after a few of these, maybe after a minute or so going over, the your, your knee will finally stretch and loosen up enough where you'll be able to get the full pedal stroke over the top. 
and in um, most cases you're going to need to raise your seat. You can see here I've got a piece of orange orange tape where the seat post used to be and um, I've raised my seat about two inches so that's that's helped me and then over over time over the next couple of weeks I'll slowly lower that. So after uh, two years of suffering with arthritis in my right knee and a series of cortisone injections I finally had a full complete knee replacement on my right knee so I'm back on my bike after uh, nine weeks so nine weeks ago today was my surgery now I feel really good today it's probably one of my best days pedaling I've been pedaling on a bike in physical therapy since five weeks and I actually got back on my gravel bike about two weeks ago and started riding outside but today I feel really good um, I'm probably gonna do 10 or 12 miles but I tell you the recovery is going really well I still have a lot of stiffness in my knee especially when I wake up in the morning uh, Sometimes it's tough to sleep, but overall, I'm doing really well. So I'm just going to kind of keep it close to home, and then uh, slowly, little by little, I'll increase the distance. Um, right now I feel comfortable on my gravel bike because it has more of an upright position, but I think in the next two weeks or so I'll probably pull my road bike out um, when I'm when I'm in a position where I want to go a little bit further on the rides but I think I think in the next three to four weeks I'll probably be able to jump back on with the ride groups with the guys so yeah so I'm very encouraged um, the uh, recovery is going really well and uh, and I feel really good so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, maybe you want to like and subscribe, um, get more content. I, I don't put a lot of videos up. I probably try to do one every six or eight weeks or so, or after some event. I do have a, um, a century ride coming up in New Hampshire uh, toward the end of the month. And um, I hope to be riding the um, Iron Cross gravel race again up in Pennsylvania um, in, in October. So. So we'll see how that goes. Um, like I said, I'm feeling great. I'm glad I got the replacement done. And, and, and again, thank you very much for watching.